What up guys, it's your girl Manny Meeks and I am back with more Vagabond and if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here, you're here. Let's be here together. So, hold on. I felt something on my lip. Weird. So last time on Vagabond, a lot of stuff happened. All right. A whole lot of stuff happened. So we had um, Jessica and an uncle having a little tete a tete, if you will. He was telling her like you know like this whole situation was blown out of proportion because of something you wanted you killed a whole bunch of people you killed my my hoon dog it's a problem your greed is going to catch you and i'm going to make sure it bites you in the ass and she was like mm -hmm. but jessica is smart in the sense that instead of sneaking out the back and trying to run from the cameras she walked directly into them and made it seem like she was sympathetic to him and understood and you know she just wants the best for him and she understands why he feels this way and bless you and then she went on about her business that was the perfect way for her to handle that however it also opened up the fact that um lily's a failure lily is a problem lily uh Lily was supposed to get the job done and did not. So what is she going to do? Not, and, and she, I mean, Jessica and Lily, what are they going to do? Um, and what else do we find out? Um, some of the family members went to the blue house to meet the president, to talk about what's happening, what he can do, what, what precautions he can take, or, you know, investigation wise, stuff like that. Um, what else happened? Um, is this the episode where, uh, Hyre went undercover kind of? I think so. I think she got her friend to, uh, to take the investigation, one of the investigation uh, employees key card so she can go in there and get the, get the uh, video of Hoon and the terrorist, but it was already gone. And unbeknownst to her, um, Guy also was setting it up so that he was recording her. He wasn't sure who was doing the wrong thing. He wasn't sure exactly who else in the department was dirty. So he also set up Hyre so that she was recording him and he was recording her. And if she didn't turn in the recording that she made because he knew she was going to make one he's investigative you know he's he's a charge of investigation he knows this um then he was going to turn in his recording to someone else who could help but she did it first like she she knew what she was doing this is what she wanted to do and she did it first and he was like yes way to go um so now that it has been leaked that the um what's his name the director of NIS had the information and didn't do anything. And this was all leaked in front of the president while the director was there in front of the president, in front of the grieving family. And he also called out to the fact that the co-pilot who was involved is not dead. He's missing. And his wife was in on it because she wanted to collect insurance policy. And so she was like, oh my God, girl, I can't even with that mess. That was ridiculous. Girl, sit down somewhere, have several seats. Um, so all of this has come out and the president is pissed. He actually like put hands on the director. He was like, pow, slapped him one time. Why the towel in the tippy in his face? And um, so now the director has to investigate and he can't fire any of the employees who were leaking the information because they were doing it for, for the good of the people and for the good of the case. And he can't fire them without repercussions and without seeming really guilty in the public eye which the president doesn't want and which the director doesn't want so they decided to take um uncle to a safe house and all of this is after my favorite thing in the world lily tried to kidnap him and it did not work she tried to kidnap and kill him as a matter of fact and it didn't work and it was a nice little chase scene and it was a nice little ambulance fight scene and it was just the fucker the uppery fucker the uppery so <clears throat> On that note, we're going to go ahead and jump into uh, season one, episode six of Vagabond. Oh, she, girl, you fine. Girl, wake up. You fine. They're getting ready to kill her, though. Look at her. Fine. Um, who was that? That's a very good question. He's like, since you want to pick out the window. 
Here, let me help. I don't trust you, dog. Look at his face. I don't like it. I'm mad they have him stirring coffee. He's like. <laughs> him chewing this ice is my life right now. Can I drink my food? Can I drink it? He don't give a shit about that. I was so confused by this music. I was like, is my phone on? Sounds like Animal Crossing. It's the village music. <laughs> She's so cute. You're so cute. Oh, I love seeing him smile. He doesn't do that often in the show because his own dog is his dad. Is oh, hey. Okay. How are you doing? Good morning. She's not gonna eat shit. I would eat it. <laughs> Mm. Sure. I'd bring Mike in. Ma'am. How he gonna run up in here? You look like you had something to say. What did you have to say? Mm -hmm. Good. Like, you know, you didn't catch anybody. I like how she's smiling like you caught him. Oh, now you go eat the cookie? Oh, your stomach's fine. Hope she chokes. Oh my gosh, she thinks she's the hot shit. Please bust her. Look at his face. You choked. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, she got He's doing something. Oh, look, he kicked a chair. He kicked the chair so softly, too, in his loafers. Not even loafers, those are dress shoes. Shadow? You gonna say shadow? <laughs> oh my god. The, the haircut and the moustache, uncle. Because she didn't eat as much. Uh oh. This dude is in a light sleep. He didn't eat none of that. He about to roll over. Oh my gosh, he's about to be so amazing. Hopefully he be his ass. Hmm. Can I please see who Shadow is? Please. Please. Hey, then, uh... 
Are you gonna play sing song right now? Mm. Mm. I love when he fights. Ooh. Oh, he's good though. Sir, he is putting in that work on you. It's okay, I still believe in Uncle. Woohoo! Watch yourself! Watch your chest! He is strong AF. Woohoo! Eat a table. It's delicious. Kick him! Kick him with your feetsies! Use your feetsies! They are hitting each other with the forearms. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Call him Stonehead. Come on! Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 It's probably your first time firing her gun at somebody. No. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get your finger off the trigger, baby. Like, bitch, he missed. Bro, I can't even. Exactly, you need a picture. I cannot believe it's him. Bruh. I can't. I can't. I can't. Like, bitch, give me that phone. Let me look at it. They are so good at this. You really think you're about to bargain right now? Mm. I love that you guys are working together. You guys are making my heart sing right now. I love it. Answer the fucking fucking phone. Fucking phone. I understand you're on like a stakeout, but can you be like, hey, I'm on a stakeout or something. Like I'm busy. I'm working. He's like, oh shit. Spit it out, bitch. Spit it out! <laughs> so, Chicky Poo? Nope. Ah. Do you know him? What? Exactly. Exactly. 
민재 씨그 자식이 조네 마크 사람한테 통화를 거. 어허. 어. 무슨 일이야? 큰일 났습니다. 차달건이 없어졌어요. 뭐? 이것들이 정말 니들은 뭐 하고 있었어? 아니 그 짜장면 먹다가 정신을 잃었는데요. 아, 그 깨어나 보니까 어 여기 피자국도 있고. 킬러가 된것 같습니다. 고생 많았어. 말씀하시라요. 오상미 어떻게 됐어? 엘미나의 공격자의 코 앞에 있으면. Your ass is right in front of me. 잡아와. 알겠어. 네. Nothing is not right. 오성미 보이스 이쪽에도 돌려 